All right, welcome back to yet again another welcome to EU4 episode with Professor Thornburg. Yay! As always, I'm your we're host, Doctor Dees. Probably one of the last episodes too. And we're gonna try and wrap up this campaign here. Yes. So let's just unpause it and you know try and march through this. Yep. Ooh, Navarre's taking a beating up there. Oh! We're good. You were lagging behind. I know, we're good. Keep going. Can you hear okay. me? Okay. Somewhat. Not really. <laughs> hey, our church in Sevilla and Astoria is finished. And Leon. More monies. I'm all for more monies. Ooh, that's a good one. Built a building. Oh, I was gonna do the same thing. Wait, did we both build buildings? We did. <laughs> I built a marketplace in Sevilla. What'd you do? Uh, I think I don't remember what I did. It is whatever else is being built. Uh, Church in La Castilla. Yeah. Castilla Vieja. Yeah. So the Emperor interacted their first reform. Ooh. Ooh. But no you one likes like Austria Hitler. anymore. Yay! How's our work in France going? Looks pretty good so far. Uh, you wanna go back up to speed too? I don't know what happened there. Uh, you were behind by 21 days. Yeah, I saw that. Just go for it. Okay. Still trying to work out the kinks on some of this. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, yay! Aragon has the institution in Barcelona, so it can spread faster now. Yes, spread to Valencia and spread into us. We Both actually uh, have we have twenty four percent war participation, and we haven't done a thing. That's just all because Aragon's done it for us. Eh, wait, wait. And Navarra, don't don't sell Navarra short. You know uh, what? I'm gonna be nice. I think they're just sitting here, actually. No, they got stack wiped, so they had troops over there doing stuff, and they got stuck. Oh, okay. They they were trying. I'll give them gold, good old try. I'm gonna kill those no five stack of noble rebels for the twenty five stack, just the five stack. You're so nice. Such a good ally. I know. I wouldn't. I They're would so just good. leave him, but you know. Yeah, but I just wanted to fight some more. <laughs> We're doing good. We can. But not have to actually deal with the consequences. Yeah. We can be so generous to them that they would. So, yes, we can add those two to a trade league. What? Ah, uh, it keeps getting lowered to speed one. I know. Just power through it. I don't know. 
I keep trying to move back up to speed two and it won't let me. Go Aragon, get us war participation. Earn us the ducats. This war shouldn't last too long. What? I said this war shouldn't last too long. True. Huh, what else could we teach people in this game? I mean, we've run over a lot of the basics. The rest they just have to pick up on their own. True. One recommendation. Don't play with someone who has terrible internet. Right. <laughs> Which would be you? No, that'd be you. I'd like to point Actually, out that I that have would amazing... be both of us, no. My internet's superior to yours. Not for long. That's true. We can compare later on. And also superior, superior to my, uh, to yours isn't like a huge like. Oh yeah, no, it's just like it sucks less. <laughs> yes, indeed. Navarre really tried to go help them out. Go Navarra. You shall be gone very soon. I don't know what France wants from this war, and hopefully they're not stupid like the last war with England. <laughs> okay. So we have finished our cores there. Let's uh, convert them real quick. It won't take too long, since they're fetishist. I mean, if you're into that. No, fetishist. Yeah, I mean, if you're into that. No, 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 no. Fetishist. If you're into that. Okay, calm down, dude. Let's keep it PG-13 here. I don't know what you're talking about. It's oh, a okay. religion. Oh, oh, oh. Now. I think you're pronouncing it wrong, though. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Okay, whatever. <laughs> I, I would like to point out that I'm being perfectly family-friendly. Very family-friendly. I would say. Mm -hmm. It's true. Oh, we're still at the naval force. Though. I think it's funny how it shows the privateering flag, but you can just hover over it and tell you what you should be privateering. Did you know that? I mean, it's not like it really matters. No, but it's just funny. Like, you can just, like, look in. Yeah. I Sophie agree. And it's just like, oh, it's Clemson and Morocco. Yeah. But it is funny. Oh, I just find it funny. Yay, more money. And even more money. We have the war goal, so we're getting some taking a war score. Yep. We're sieging everything down. Uh, sorry, our allies are sieging everything down. Navarre is doing great. So Aragon's kicking butt. Looks like they declared over Charolais, but they do have a lot of claims. Do they really? Yeah, they have five claims. Oof. So we'll see what they take here. I would guess they're probably going to take those five claims. If I could be so bold, we'll see. That's all. That would be a lot of aggressive expansion. It's France. Yeah, one of those happens to be their capital, Burgoyne. 
which is 26 development. I guess. I don't which think he can physically take, take that much. He'll probably take Borgon and Charloy, and maybe Artoy and Picardy. Picardy. All right, ability's not happy with us. <laughs> uh, decision. Yeah. Lovely. An event. Yay! We can almost demand diplo power and like be good off. I'm gonna take money from them since they were at 89. Might as well take some. Not like it's gonna hurt. We need ideas. Let's see if we can get some ad power. Does uh, we should be able to take the. Oh yeah, we will get it by June. Two now. months. So that saved us like three years there. You're welcome. And they're still loyal. How about that? Yep. Like really loyal, they're at fifty nine percent. What happened to our people influence? I know we had almost fifty. I spent it. On what? Uh diplo rep. Oh my god. And then I asked for 10 more from the clergy. Well, oh. I figured we were going to be annexing Navarra soon. Um. As soon as we can kill these ships that are attacking us currently. Maybe, I don't know. Do we currently have control of Laundering? We do. Alright, so now we get to explain a very special mechanic in the game. With the taking of Admin Tech 5, you can see that we have allowed a group of ideas. And so now you can see we have a free slot here in our idea page. And we can take an idea group now. And so these are all split up into the three different categories, Admin, Diplo, Military. Each one costs a respective uh, points, and each idea is 400, and that can be modified by certain modifiers. But for us, it's just a base of 400. And so there are certain things that we can take, depending on how we want to play the game. We could say, like, let's go admin, so our course costs less. It's a very strong one I highly recommend. Um, we could go religious, say, I don't want to deal with all this religious crap and uh, having to convert all these Sunni nations and make it easier a little bit. Um, we could come yeah, over here. Ideas. Diplo ideas. Do Diplo, you know, that would give us more diplomats, more Diplo relations, so we could have more alliances and stuff. Makes it easier to uh, put forces together against a common and enemy. That, that one's bonus one at the end is lowered impact on ability from diplomatic actions. So, yeah. And then there's like also that. the military ones, which will make your military stronger, larger, or better, you know, per unit. Um, they're all pretty good. Uh, people vary in the ones they like to take. There's only a few bad ones that no one ever really takes. Espionage. But, um, <laughs> but for us, you know, um, we wanted to get started on that colonial game early. So we're going to go with exploration. <laughs> and so you can see here, it is Diplo. So it's going to cost 400 Diplo for this first idea. And with that, we get our first col colonist. So well, we're going to take 406 because of our option. Yes, but you get the idea. Get it? You get the idea? <laughs> so we're going to take it right away so we can start colonizing and show you guys how that works. Alright. So now we have to select... Once you get your first colonist, you have to select a native policy. And so there's three different policies. You could go with a native repression to make your colonies grow faster. You go native trading so they assimilate faster, but they also have a less chance of uprising. Or you could just go native coexistence and they have no chance of uprising against you. And so we're going to choose that one because we don't want to have to deal with natives when we form colonies. You can see here, 
we are going to do our first colony in the province of Tekrur, which is right next to our other cores here. Um, you can see it has seven development. It's uh, They have 4,000 natives there. And the axes represent their aggressiveness, the bows represent their ferocity. Aggressiveness determines how often they'll attack. Um, uh, ferocity determines how much damage they will do. And so uh, you see we're going to send our colonist and he'll be there in 115 days. So let's go ahead and unpause it till then. Perfect. Yay! Let's try speed 3 to make it go faster. Can we do it? we do it kind of is the answer <laughs> we're doing it don't worry ah uh, yeah should be fine hey we captured the ship ah. I don't think we actually captured the ship though Aragon did <laughs> even oh, wow. better we yeah we don't have to pay for it, for it. <laughs> Jinx. But we, but we still get to use it. <laughs> <laughs> the funny thing is, for me, I said it, then you said it, but I know for a fact that we both said it at the same time. <laughs> right. So you can see here our colonist is now working, and because he's there, uh, the religion of the colony is Catholic. Um, we have, what is it, plus 15 per year? That's pretty slow. But, you know, yeah. it'll build. And so each month, each year, it'll add 15 settlers. And then there's a 14% chance that the colonist will add additional settlers each month. So once this gets to 1,000, it'll become a full province. It'll be considered self-sufficient. And uh, the colonists will come home and we can start another colony. Yay! So that's just the basics. Um, and we are kind of time constrained with this campaign. Uh, the newest expansion for U4 is coming out in two days. Yeah. Um, by the time this video is uploaded, it'll already be out, in fact. So I can't even say, you know, it will be out in two days. It has been out for it's already how many out. days now. It's been out. It's for great, a while. guys, or it's terrible, depending on how we like it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure everyone's gonna like it. Um, I, I've seen people. Find I don't it. think anyone's gonna like the cost of it, but you know. Uh, DLC. <laughs> what do you expect? Yeah, there's gonna be some negatives, some positives, but you know. So yeah, we will be starting a new campaign immediately after, though. Right, Nathan? Yeah, so technically, you guys probably right, by this over. point. You... Yay. Anyway, you can say what you wanted to. So, pretty much by the time this video goes up, we should have already started the other campaign. Oh, Matrix. yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Ah. Uh, <laughs> no, uh. calm down there. Okay. <laughs> so, let's uh, annex Navarra real quick. Sounds good. Show how that works. So we just press the button, done. and then it costs, uh, the diplo power depends on how much development uh, our subject has. It's only going to cost us 56 diplo power, and we progress it at 6 diplo per month because of the base 2. They are the same religion, same culture group, and we have an extra 2 diplomatic relation. So it should only take a few months here. You know what really helped that? Me taking the pap Papal League Gate. I that know. totally changed the tide. I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> but we could have gotten like extra money since we're kind of hurting. Yeah, but I figured that we're pretty much going to annex Navarre. If we were playing a long campaign, I definitely... But I knew we were just trying to intro it and annex Navarre. So, I know what you mean. In my defense, 
I was just trying to do it to show people. Oh, we can announce a new rifle! Just kidding, you already did! Well, I did. <laughs> I take it all back! Okay, and then there's gonna be one more thing that I'm gonna show you guys. Um, did you want to go explore America in this campaign, or...? No, let's let's keep it a surprise, so you guys have to buy the game. No, I'm just kidding. No. Uh, you, you'll see it in our other games. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> you should buy this game. It's great. Oh, yeah, and if you enjoyed these videos, if you watched them all the way through, then you definitely should, because you're one of the few. <laughs> that, if they uh, are... it out are this far. Our Discord is no. I'm just kidding. Actually, it wouldn't be terrible. No, well, we'd consider adding Ugh, you in. What even you know? is our Discord? I don't, I don't even remember. We might have some community games in the future, but we'll just True. have to wait and see for that. You know. All right. So one more thing that we can cover here. Um, you can see that we have this territory here. We haven't made it into a state yet of Fuda Jalon, and these are the provinces we took from Mali. Uh, you can see that they are now Catholic here and soon to be here. And so, um, since we want our states to be more close to our core territory, our home territory of Castile, uh, we are going to keep these as territories. But what we can do to make a positive benefit from that is we can turn it into a trading company. So trading companies give us bonuses to trade power, naval force limit, and institution spread. But it also takes away a lot of uh, negatives. So tax modifier goes down, sailors modifier goes down, uh, manpower and modifier goes down. And missionary strength. And missionary strength. That's why we converted them first. So we're going to start a trading company. And so ooh, ooh. we have two provinces in this trading company. And because of trade goods ivory, hopefully it'll contribute a lot to the trade power in that node. And uh, we can eventually steer trade into our node of Sevilla. Whoop, whoop. And we are just, we're halfway done with annexing Navarre. And yeah, and I think that's a good place to wrap up the campaign there. I agree. So, and then we'll be back under our diplomatic relations and we'll be able to actually like, I don't know, show you guys other stuff. That's not us playing the same nation. Yeah, we have a lot of cool stuff that we have been planning. Uh, we got a uh, female air, by the way. Is the, scheming is the better word. <laughs> we should have been naming our people. Uh, uh, well. we'll do that in future campaigns. I mean, nothing can ever be my brother's explorer from the other day. <laughs> Uh, he's a jerk. Okay, let's leave your brotherly feud out of this. What? He named his explorer, suck on this, <laughs> ha 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 ha, <laughs> in all caps, because you beat me to the new world. Yep. That's not okay. No, that's totally okay. Shh, I don't need your sass, doctor. Whatever you say, Professor. <laughs> but yeah, if you definitely stuck out through all these videos, you made it this far, you're totally interested in the game, I definitely recommend you pick it up. Uh, but you should totally wait till there's a sale or something. I agree, because it's very expensive. Yeah, the base cost everything. of this game is 40 bucks, and that's just for the base game. There's a lot of DLC that comes with this game, and they are ruthless. So if you want the full experience, you're going to spend hundreds of dollars. We've probably each put about... If we hadn't gone on sales, we probably would have would have each put about 200 bucks in this game. Yeah. If you wait till the sales, though, you could cut the cost down by 75%. Which is what we do. At least, I think. For the most part. Yeah. But yeah, if you did make it this far as well, I really want to thank you for tuning in to all these episodes. Absolutely. Um, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe because there will be more of this, these videos on the way. We're going to have multiple campaigns, you know, 
Um, I have other some, games too. Yeah, I have some other strategy games lined up. Uh, we'll probably do some some other games by Paradox that are also real time strategy, alternate history. Uh, maybe some Crusader Kings too. No, no. <laughs> probably not. I'm just messing with uh, Nathan. There. I might do some solo Crusader Kings too, but then we also have Hearts of Iron 4, which we are definitely going to check out soon. They're releasing yes. new content on a regular basis for that game as well. You know what? If you reach 1,000 subscribers, I would play a CK2 campaign Campaign with you. Okay. I would do it. I, I would stick it out. I would play a campaign with you. All right, I'll remember that. I'll write that down somewhere so we have to yes, do that I in the future. We also need to do one where we start in CK2 and play all the way through. Yes, that's the ideal. Uh, uh, it'd be an interesting campaign. Mega campaign right there. We thought about it, what, two years ago? Yeah, and I wanted you guys to do it, but you can't get over CK2 for some reason. I could not. Well, that and but, we've looked at the time constraints, and yeah. that would have taken so long. Yeah, but now that we're longer. doing this a lot more... We're willing to do it. I'm willing to do it. I, If you hit a thousand subscribers, I'll do it. Okay. Sounds I'll good. do a mega campaign. You guys heard him, so if you want to see that mega campaign... And, and I guarantee it. If you want to see that mega no campaign, idea. subscribe. We'll go through CK2, we'll go through EU4, we'll go through Victoria 2... And then hopefully into Hearts of Iron 4. That'd be crazy. Oh it, my goodness. It will be. <laughs> that would take so long. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, I, We'd I'm have down. to do a lot of that on stream so we didn't have to have hours and hours and hours of Yeah. Anyway, if you want to videos. pause it. I paused it here for a reason. Yes, yeah, so next tomorrow we are going to annex Navarro. Yay! Mm. All right. So there we go. Um, that was our little intro series. Welcome to this game. If you enjoyed it, like the videos, subscribe to the channel. More of this to come. Um, and we might even do some community plays. We'll That'd see. Be awesome. We'll see where it goes. Mul multiplayer on here would be super fun. Oh, yeah. And ruthless. But yes, I personally want to thank you for tuning in uh, this far. Um, and just be looking out for the next series in this game thank you so much alright we'll see you guys next time thanks for watching bye bye